morning. I'm Melissa Westwood, Associate Vice President for Research, and it's my very great pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I would like to welcome our graduates, whose magnificent achievements and hard work we are here to celebrate today. We are also delighted to see so many friends and family here. We thank you for the support and encouragement which you have given to our graduates during their studies, which has been so important to their success. Just like their supervisors and other members of staff in the Doctoral Academy and the schools and faculty, you can be extremely proud of what they have achieved. When those of you graduating here today decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make a major investment in your future, and today that investment is realised. During the course of your studies, you will have gained the skills and the knowledge to help you find success in the future years. And although you might be glad to see the back of your thesis for now, the planning, the research and the writing skills you have deployed and nurtured will be great value to you, whatever you choose to do next. And the way that you've balanced commitments to academic life with other interests and the very many competing distractions that this great city of Manchester has to offer will help you find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfolds. And of course, we must not forget the strong and supportive friendships and relationships that you have forged here, and I hope that those will be sustained for many years to come. Put simply, your achievements in completing your degree cannot be overestimated for its value and the strong platform it gives you to build your career and achieve your goals. Armed with your academic success, your skills and your breadth of experiences, there is every reason to be positive about the future. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognise the value of the piece of paper that you will soon be holding in your hand. So Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe, but we are determined to become one of the best in the world. With around 170 nationalities on campus, the university is a truly global institution and one which will remain so, valuing all of its staff, students and alumni from across Europe and further afield. Our ambitious plan is to lift Manchester into the first rank of virtuosity in higher learning. And at the very core of this new vision is major investment in buildings, in infrastructure and facilities, and a commitment to the highest standards in research and scholarship. But it isn't the bricks and the mortar and the technology and the equipment or even the academic achievement that makes this university so great and successful. It's you, it's our students, it's our staff, it's our people. And during your studies you have all, in your own way, enriched and shaped and moulded the University of Manchester to tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. And by reflecting on your experiences and telling us how we can make them even better, you have given us a blueprint to achieve our bold ambitions to be among the best in the world. The university is changing and it will continue to change for the better because of you. So today is just as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution as it is for recognising your success in your academic studies. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and of course you must celebrate its success but this is only the beginning of your journey and your association with Manchester, not the end. The return on your investment continues way beyond today's pomp and ceremony. Our career service will continue to offer help and support for a further three years, and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you to remain in contact with the university, linking you to a community of nearly half a million Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. And as alumni yourselves, you can help future students in so many ways as ambassadors of the university, in student play placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university, which is vital to its future. So we sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact with the university. Remember that our doors will always be open to you. And now I'd like to hand over to my colleague, Dr. Jeff Penny, to say a few words about the Doctoral Academy. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to our graduates and their families 
and friends, <coughs> both from across the UK and from many countries across the world. Today's ceremony is the fifth ceremony for the Faculty of Biology, Medicine and Health's Doctoral Academy. The Doctoral Academy was established alongside the new faculty in 2016 to support our community of more than 1,000 postgraduate researchers to ensure our students have the facilities, training and opportunities needed to excel and carry out world-class research. The students graduating day, today have not only contributed to our faculty's research effort, but also to our core goals relating to outstanding student experience and social responsibility. Our faculty has a broad portfolio of research activity that ranges from discovery science through to its application to patients and the wider population. The success of our students' research activities is exemplified by their ability to publish their findings in top-ranked academic journals, which include BMC Medicine, Circulation, the Journal of Dental Research, Lancet Psychiatry, and Oncotargets and Therapy. Our students are not only key contributors to our faculty's research success, but they bring endless enthusiasm and vibrancy to our research community. We are exceptionally grateful to all those who have contributed to our postgraduate research committees and to those who have organised faculty and university-wide student conferences, external lecture series and social events. In particular, I would like to thank Rebecca Howard and James Quinn, both former chairs of our Doctoral Academy Graduate Society, and Gurdeep Singh, Katrin Hepko, and Florian Walter, who have acted as postgraduate student reps. I would like to highlight the achievements of Christopher Bullock and Jaya Balanchandra, who organised the seventh annual joint conference in tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, and of Jack Barton, founder and editor-in-chief of the Manchester Research Hive blog. I would also like to extend congratulations to the Manchester Doctoral College Postgraduate Research Student of the Year, Elke van Veen, who has made significant advances in the understanding of the genetic basis of inherited breast cancer, and to Rebecca Fish, recipient of the Doctoral Academy Student of the Year Award. The University of Manchester actively supports development of talented young researchers to become tomorrow's global research leaders. This is exemplified by awarding the President's Doctoral Scholar Studentships and 12 recipients of this award are graduating today. Also graduating today are Matthew Dewhurst, Tabia Hohensi, Stephanie MacDonald and Cleve Sims, students on our A-Star programme who have carried out part of their research in Singapore and who I know have been a powerful advert for the quality of Manchester students. Much of the research we carry out is publicly funded, so it's extremely important we successfully promote and communicate our research to local schools and communities. Our postgraduate students have risen to the challenge of participating in public engagement activities, and I'd like to congratulate Emily Williams on receiving the Doctoral Academy Award for Best Contribution to Society. Everyone has their own reason for wanting to do a research degree, be it personal development, professional development, or wanting to make a difference in their field of research. When I speak to students across the faculty, I never cease to be amazed by their enthusiasm and commitment to their research, 
and our students should feel very proud of the difference they've made to their specialist areas. It is not only our postgraduate students who feel very proud today. I know, speaking as a supervisor of a student, of a student Mariam, who is graduating today, that supervisors are also extremely proud of your research achievements. I would therefore like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank all the academic staff and doctoral academy staff who have supported our students throughout their degree programs. Successfully completing a research degree is no small task. Our students will certainly have faced and overcome many challenges and are, no doubt, very different people from when they started research. Throughout their programmes, our students will have also developed many key skills which will serve them well throughout life. Their outstanding qualities make them highly attractive to an array of employers and we are confident that they will succeed in their chosen career paths. I would like to close by thanking our students for their contribution to the, the success of our faculty and university, and to remind you that wherever you go, this will always be your university. We hope that you'll keep in touch, not only so we can celebrate your future successes, but also so we can highlight you as outstanding examples of what research students can achieve and to help inspire our future research scholars. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Waka Ame. <laughs> Asma Saeed Khalid Al Hofni. <laughs> Munira Al Bakshi. Holly Allen. <laughs> Salma Salah Al Adahi. <laughs> Haya F O M Al Smart. Faitin Alwathiki. <laughs> Reem S.W. Alyaya. <laughs> Jaya Balachandra. Also graduating as a President's Doctor Scholar, Anne Barrett. <laughs> Anna Christina Bornicool. <laughs> Ahmed Zakaria Balkarau. Charlotte Campion. <laughs> Katrina Cunningham. <laughs> Matthew Dewhurst. <laughs> Catherine Disney. Amy Donald. <laughs> Ms.
Rebecca Dukey. Alexander Eckersley. Also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Eyong Egby. <laughs> Miriam Feng. <laughs> Eleanor French. Arunar Bagosh. <laughs> Robert Harrison. <laughs> Tabia Hohensi. <laughs> Ji Wang. Matthew David Humphreys. <laughs> Aya Mustafa S. Kateb. <laughs> Oluwasola Lau. <laughs> Kay Lockyer. Robert William Lord. <laughs> Stephanie McDonald. <laughs> also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Ellie McGrath. Karen T. Melody. <laughs> Nur Azida Binti Maud Nasir. <laughs> Julia Monticoni. Fabian Morales Blanco. <laughs> Joseph Morgan. <laughs> Connor O'Boyle. <laughs> Elena Owen. Also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Matisse Ozel. <laughs> Henry Pegg. <laughs> Thomas Andrew Perry. James Quinn. <laughs> Olivera Rykovic. <laughs> Danielle Elizabeth Robinson. <laughs> Helen Rowland. Renal Saputra. <laughs> Yana Shapers. <laughs> J. 
Julia Schneider. Sarah Amira Sheikh Curry. Gurdeep Singh. Wancha Sirisan. Victoria Mary Rachel Spencer. Jessica Taylor. Paul Thompson. Nopnithi Thongi. Hawina Appanen. Mire Henriette van der Tor. Elke van Veen. Sabina Vatta. Samuel Vernon. Also graduating as a Presence Doctoral Scholar, Emily Williams. Shuan Fu Ya. Zenas Yu. <laughs> Yang Zhao. President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Clinical Psychology, Alexander Clark. <laughs> Kate Murphy. <laughs> Hannah Ogden. And for the degree of Doctor of Medicine, Natalia Cartuccio. <laughs> and for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Siti Hazaria Binti Abdul Hamid. <laughs> Amal Abukares. Fatma Hamdan Hassan Al Akmat Makbali. <laughs> Badria Mohammed Saif Al Riyami. <laughs> Mohammed Fadil Salim Al Chashwishli. Alison Elizabeth Clare Baird. <laughs> Shelby Barnett. <laughs> Anna Baradas. <laughs> Jack Barton. Abdul Rahman Bazaid. <laughs> Noor Hazik bin Saliman. <laughs> Reem bin Swedane. <laughs> Li 
Alicia Sabrina Wright. Christopher John Bullock. Edmore Pachamapiwa. Mohammed Kamil bin Shay Hassan. Sam Clark. Shoba Dawson. Edgar de las Jerez Ruiz. Also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Nazanin Zutzar. Adam Camirez Featherstone. Laura Francis. Panjata Gardelli. Robert Griffiths. Kate Hazlitt. Rebecca Howard. <laughs> Leslie Jones. <laughs> Michelle Lawton. <laughs> Sarah Jane Leonard. Mary Kathleen Longworth. <laughs> and also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Amy Matheson. <laughs> Nuroshiha Mohammed Yatim. Also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Julius Walter Eric Ornberger. <laughs> Muna Okal. <laughs> also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Maximilian Parker. Ignacio Javier Parturo. <laughs> Giovanni Podder. <laughs> Arturo Rodriguez. <laughs> Eva Sherbatjan. Also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Chun Hu Chi. <laughs> Marianne Shubar. <laughs> Victoria Tessiman. Florian Walter. <laughs> Gillian Waring. <laughs> also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Lauren Wolfenden.
Chen Chao. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Public Health, Anastasia Stitsis. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Medicine, Alex Paul Hoyer. <laughs> Natalie Marie Lowe. <laughs> Catherine Ann McVerter. Kurt Wilson. And for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Andrew Atkinson. Edward Theodore Barnes. Ahmed Najib bin Hassan. Lina Bing Mahfouz. <laughs> Marcel Dreger. <laughs> Rebecca Fiss. <laughs> Alice Rose Grinnell. Patrick Hamilton. <laughs> Catherine Hepko. <laughs> Alexander Holsgrove. <laughs> Fatime Jafarsade. Edward Jones. <laughs> Sarah Kassab. <laughs> Gareth Brian Kitchen. <laughs> Hannah Kither. Rebecca Lee. <laughs> Mahir Ahmed Mira. <laughs> Niall Morris. <laughs> Megan Marucci. Ivan Mullen. <laughs> Gemma Owens. <laughs> Adam Pearson. <laughs> Robert Pedley. Maria Atanasova Petkova. <laughs> Cliff Sims. <laughs> Susanna Souza. <laughs> Violeta Trindafilova. Kirsty Webb.
Also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, Scott Wilkinson. And for the degree of Master of Philosophy, Fatima Umar. Please stand and place your caps on your head, tassels to the left. Guests and supporters, please stand and join me in congratulating our new graduates. On behalf of the University, I once again congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements, and I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. I now declare this ceremony closed.